Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegars. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. I'm going to be checking out a Mantis uh, 5.2, not the 5.1, the 5.2. The folks at uh, Outback RV of Texas, here's their uh, website, you can check them out, uh, have the special version, the 5.2, not the 5.1. Uh, the exterior length of this unit is 19 feet. The freshwater tank capacity is 20 gallons. The gray is 22. This unit has bunk beds, has a regular bed, has all kinds of features. Definitely designed for the outdoorsy type. There's my wife uh, over there on the left. Oh, you can see her drinking a beverage. It was rather hot. And luckily we're inside the showroom. So here's the exterior. There's where the propane tanks are. These is composite material, this laminated material. Of course you can put a power tongue jack there if you want, or just see what the weight is, manual. Has a pop top. It has this little Very nice outdoor area that you can set up. It has 30 amp, the heater, etc. etc. Has those uh, ac you know, acrylic windows. Let's go inside. One step gets you inside. It has the rubber coined floors. Let me step back a little bit. And in this model specifically, it has bunk beds. And this is the style of the pads. Very easy to clean. And these windows that slide down for privacy. Lift up for the book screen. So you have options. Okay. And of course those windows open up quite a bit. And this is essentially a hybrid between a travel trailer and a tent. Let me turn around. Here's some of the controls. And uh, here's some uh, USB connections. 12 volt controls here. You're gonna have to read the manual and figure out what this uh, Kanji, this is what the script means. And of course, this is very nice wood. Still, have the usual drawers, they're using milk crates, so with bungee cords. Very interesting, solid metal, so this should last a couple days. It's screwed into the floor. Same over here. Very nice wood and another milk crate style storage. It's a pretty neat dude, isn't it? Excuse me? It's a pretty neat dude, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's very interesting. So this is a super like off-road capable. And um, we we and these are made Houston, so it is a Houston, huh? American-made, Texas-made trailer. Yeah. Wow. The the guy who owned the company, uh, he was a NASA engineer, retired from the start of this company. It seems beautifully designed. Very. Uh, well, it's super. It's super. What's this material on the walls here? It seems. It's aluminum. So you have these walls are aluminum. Uh huh. And they're sandwiched with uh, composite foam insulation. So it should have a good R value. So it does, and in fact, when the canvas, we have it open, but when it's closed right now and you have the heat or the air going, it actually works really well. What heat, what air? Oh, that air, there's an air conditioning so, machine. Yeah, it has an air conditioner, and then it has a true Macombi heat and hot water system. Okay, so it has a two burner stove, yeah. sink, and this comes down, of course, um, and this plops down. You have to be very gentle not to break it. There it goes. And then you have some storage 
back there. So this is our, this particular Paxa, this Mantis is our design. Uh, we're the only ones that have this double door feature. And uh, so we did this. Typically there would be a wet bath where you're standing right here. Uh -huh. So we decided that, hey, let's get a double door for the outdoors guys, because you know you always camp on both sides of the trailers, which allows us to put the two, I'm walking over, which allows us to put the double awning and then we bought the wall for this side. In fact, you can wall off that side and make this a yurt style. This, uh, this is significant added space, huh? Oh yeah, it's very, and then we're putting a shower tent right here. So there's gonna be a shower tent we're mounting right here. So where does the porta potty go? You can put it out here. Shower tent. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Very nice. So this is a 30 amp model? I'm sorry? 30 amp? Uh, it's 30 amp. We have it actually, we have it plugged into 15 amp regular wall socket. Yes. Because all the power that you need is just for that, that, uh, the air conditioner. Everything okay. else will run off battery and solar. Okay. So how efficient is that air conditioner? The, so that's a little 8,000 BTU AC and the wattage, I'm not sure the wattage. I think it's running at 13 amps, so any wall unit will, will run that. So that's any extension cord. This should be very good for three seasons. How about four seasons? We have customers that live in these, believe it or not. Oh, wow. So, yeah, the tiny home guys, they, they travel all over the country in, a, in, in these and they'll live out of them. But the princess and the prince prince types uh, that are you know used to a lot of luxury and uh, well don't like to get their hands dirty i'm pretty sure they won't like it but so the rugged the, individual the outdoorsy type so this is we, we specialize in the outdoor we we specialize in the off-road stuff yeah and this is uh this is what an upper end off-road unit yes so i would think so yeah. so what's the what's the weight of this dry this is 33 that's that's very lightweight so a jeep definitely can uh, tow this a Jeep will tow it. Um, a two-door won't, but uh, you need to go to the, the, the uh, you need to go to a, um, a Gladiator. Gladiator. Yeah, yeah those can tow over seven thousand. They're fifty-five and above. Yeah. So you, you'll be okay with that. And this is on the uh, on the Timberin HD suspension. So it's an independent suspension on this one. Um, yep. Awesome. Good stuff. Thank you very much. So over here we have. Uh, I do not. What is this anyway? What is this for? That's a garbage can. That's the biggest garbage can I've ever seen garbage in my life. Can. It fits right that, in that area. That fits. Wow. That's humongous. Yeah. And, and must... then, as you can see, milk crates. These these don't break. Yeah, I know they don't break. I have milk crates so also. So you take them out whenever you're parked and you keep inside, load your stuff up. When it's time to go camp, you just bring your milk crates out and off you go. Very nice. And then, of course, you have the uh, the 12 volt. Nice coat, yeah. That's a top of the line, by the way. So yeah. Ice Coast are pretty nice. We so Ice Coast Snowmaster, all the off-road uh, refrigerators. Uh, yeah, they're they're incredibly efficient. And uh, and this can be ordered as part of the kit. They come with it. They come with it. Okay. Yeah. So part of our package here is is the refrigerators, and uh, so everything that we sell here in the tax of products will have a Ice Coast refrigerator in it. This is very nice. Now, of course, that's the sleeping area for the adults. Yep. And, and this is this and is a bunk. Now, how how long is this anyway? This looks like about uh, at least six feet. Seventy six inches, I'm thinking. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty good. So, when this is not a bunk, this folds down, and this is a sofa. Okay. When this is folded down, you're traveling. This lifts up, and mm -hmm. a, you can put your bicycles right here. So this whole front end will actually lift up, and for storage while you're traveling, put bikes, grills, whatever you want to. Very nice. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Yeah, I've been uh, just going off hitting modest bumps with my Rockwood Mini Light, and things just fall apart. So you're not going to find in, in this stuff. Yes. You're not going to find that. <laughs> this is made. This is, as you can see, this is, there is no uh, particle board in here. This is all the real McCoy. This is really pl plywood. It's really put the well put yeah. together yeah. well, the exterior, the exoskeleton. This is solid as, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's metal. Yeah, you're not gonna have any issues. Yeah, mine uh, is G-jawed to the max, and as my wife would say, and uh, 
we've, I've had to replace uh, over the last couple of months. I've been reworking on the drawers, fixing them. Oh. And then I found under the stove, I opened the stove up enough, pieces are all over the place. I go, oh, I had planned to use them. Would you guys like some water? Ask my wife. So here's the uh, sleeping area. And let's go do a quick uh, look outside just to uh, take a peek. And here's your your uh, fuse box. Is there any storage under there? Yeah. You have more areas for milk crates under there. And of course the table comes out, et cetera, et cetera. Let me go out this way. <sighs> Those are significant tires, huh? Those are 33s. Good years, huh? So, since this is US built, you're going to see the good years on here. Or Bridgestones, or uh, you know, any of the common tires we see. This is a 230 180 awning. So, you'll see a lot of this in, in all your overlanding and off road uh, vehicles. Well, this is definitely. Then, Sturdy. Yeah, these are made actually, it's your steps going to the roof because you have a two lead load bars on the roof, but these are also made for a standard five liter jerry can. So you can add your two jerry cans for extra water. So it says here 5.2, what does that mean? That's just the model number. Okay. Just... So this is a Taxa Mantis 5.2. We call it the Taxa Mantis uh, Outback Edition because of the double door. Okay. Very nice. And you got a spare right under here? Yep. And what are your capacities for your tanks? The uh, fresh water on here is um, 20 gallons. And then the gray water, it, there's actually, since there's no bathroom, but the gray water uh, for your sink is just a hose that comes off of your valve down here. You can just run your hose out. That's it. So this, this has a hose connection. Bring your water hose out. Standard hose? Standard hose. So I can use my garden hose right there? Yep. And then you can have it go into a... You can have it go outside. You can, if you're out in the campground, it's, that's totally legal for gray water. Oh, very nice. Yep. Very nice. Even for a dish, uh, some of the materials that could come with the dishes and stuff like that, would you... No, no black water. Just no black water. That's, that's all. Right. No poop, but... Uh... No, poop, no poop in uh, poop chemicals. <laughs> that's right. Very nice. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them below. A lot will be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and ring the bell for future notifications. From uh, north of Denton, Texas, gracias, adios, bye-bye.